that what's happening in Greece is a neo-colonial practice. What do you mean by that? I mean that uh, over the last uh, five years, the austerity policies imposed uh, on the Greek people uh, were totally rejected by the Greek people, but accepted by the government, uh, because the government and the mainstream media colluded with uh, the European authorities and the International Monetary Fund and imposed policies which both failed economically in terms of the economic uh, situation of the country, but also led to a huge uh, humanitarian catastrophe. You know, the idea of the Washington consensus or the structural adjustment that we used to have, the IMF used to bring out and roll out in uh, Latin America or Africa, um, has now come to Europe. And there is a problem with us Europeans that when these things were happening to Argentina or to Brazil or in Africa, we were not particularly concerned. Now, of course, they're coming and hitting home and everyone now realizes uh, the, how the dominant forces of the world are using economic policy in order to exploit uh, the periphery. And here in Athens, with the Acropolis behind me, we are as much part of the periphery now as uh, indeed Argentina. In formal legal terms, but also in terms of the political logic of the situation, this is not on the cards now. On the other hand, the European media and the European politicians in order to scare the Greek people in this policy of fear, this uh, politics of fear that you have also experienced in uh, Latin America, they are telling the people that the question of the referendum was not about, uh, uh, about the rejection or acceptance of the proposals of the Europeans and the IMF, but it was about the euro. If most of the key social, economic, cultural questions have straight scientific answers, objective answers, that uh, certain technocrats and scientists, economists mainly, may work out, there's no point in asking the people. We just transfer the main decision-making uh, powers from democratic parliaments, democratically elected governments and the people to those technocrats in, in Brussels, Berlin and Frankfurt. That's this is what is at stake here. Yeah, what is at stake here is, in other words, the attempt to impose a final dispensation, a final way of organizing the world, and to crush anyone who resists that attempt. Based coup d'etat may be harder to overturn, I'm afraid. <laughs>